Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Tonight I've got a very colorful stream for you. Um, a little something interesting. I, <laughs> I love the, the latency thing. I was just peeking over there and it's like I'm just staring at the screen. Anyway, I've got a very colorful stream for you tonight. We're going to be doing a true blind taste and a step further than, than what most of us are able to do on our own. And I've gotten a little creative, gotten a little colorful, and I'm, I'm eager to get into this. So I've got a ton of stuff here sitting on my uh, extremely washed out because everything's white, including my myself, uh, desk. So I'm gonna kind of get to pouring some of the stuff while we wait for some people to, to filter in. And then I'll talk a little bit about what I'm doing. So, well actually, I'll talk about what I'm doing, but I'll start drinking in a couple minutes. So the first things first, let me kind of explain what I'm doing here. Cause I kind of want to just get some of the stuff off of my desk. So underneath each one of these, well, yeah. <sighs> I've got these new Black Glen Cairns. I've never really used them before. So this will be a very interesting thing. I'm sure that you've all seen these to some degree. In fact, anybody coming over from Eric, uh, Eric's stream would have just seen four of them. I didn't get to see the end of your stream, Eric. I'm gonna have to go double check that in the replay. Hopefully uh, you didn't you know, do too bad on your guesses. So, hey James, hey Eric, hey Taylor, hey Steve. Uh, and hi to all of you that aren't active in the chat. So this is what I've got going on. All of these glasses have a color on the bottom that matches. This one's gonna be the, oh sorry, this one's going to be, I think I have those backwards. Chateau Montalena and um, Leoville Barton. <laughs> okay, Jim, I will. Um, so I'm gonna pour into each one of these the associated whiskey. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minimize my visuals over here. So I can't see myself. So as I am trying something, you'll be able to tell what I'm drinking and I won't. That's the idea. I think this will be a really fun way to do a blind. I don't have any of these, like I don't care which one wins. I, I genuinely kind of hope they all do. Uh, maybe not the red, but honestly, I, I would be also kind of in, interested to know if my mind has changed about the red. So, let me just go ahead and pour these, because it's going to take a couple minutes, and uh, say hi to everybody. So let's see, we got 21 people in here so far. I'm sure a few more will filter in. So let's go ahead and pour the green spot into the... That light is a little tough, but I think, I know you guys will be able to see it. It's not a big deal. All right, so I'm going to pour quite a bit into each one of these because I'm sure I'll be sipping several times and I don't want to have to look. Now, Bill, I'm going to put these on the ground over here too, just to get them out of the way. Now, Bill, how are you going to, you know, these are all right in front of you. How are you going to make sure that they aren't, that you don't just know which one is which? Well, my friends, the Wheel of Doom has gotten a bit of an upgrade. And by upgrade, I mean I have a remote control. <laughs> so this one's a yellow, and you'll start to see it coming out over here as I'm pouring more and more of these. I did think about pouring these ahead of time, but in order to show you kind of the bottom of the glasses, didn't seem like it made sense to. Red, no, not the brown spot. <laughs> No, better than the wet spot, I suppose. <laughs> All right. Sorry if this is loud for anybody. All right, this one's Chateau uh, Montalena. <laughs> it's funny how much uh, is gone out of some of these compared to others. There we go. I, I kind of like inserts in, in tins like this. But to some degree, I kind of don't either because it makes it a pain to put them back in. It's fun to have the, the extra literature, but you're also like at most ever going to read it once. And usually it's just advertisements for their other products. Now in the way of green spot, this actually tells you a little bit about what it is. So it's good. It's kind of like getting an instruction manual in a video game. I used to get it. I didn't really appreciate how much I liked them until they didn't show up anymore in any sort of games. All right, so I've got some water. That's going to be critical. And I've got, oh, geez, I didn't realize I had that on the screen. Uh, well, whatever, tonight's, oh, you know what? I think I automatically did it. Anyway, tonight's giveaway, <laughs> I might as well just talk about it since it's on the, on the thing. So uh, every $5 Super Chat gets you an entry into um, 
Oh, shoot. Steve, if you're there, would you mind helping me out again? <laughs> Sorry, I totally should have asked you earlier. I, uh, I'll be better about that in the future. If you can't, don't worry about it. I can do it through my, my tools over here. But anyway, so I'm going to be giving away four of these uh, Black Glen Cairns. Um, they just became made available again for the first time in a long time. I don't know how long they'll be available, but if you want to be able to do your own blind tastings at home, they are really, really good because they obviously remove the color. So you kind of get rid of some of your preconception. I mean, just imagine you could do an Irish next to a Japanese, next to a Scotch, next to a bourbon, like somebody over here. All right, so let me get rid of that off the screen. So this is the new Wheel of Doom. We got, oh yeah. <laughs> just poured all the spots, just getting started. Nice, awesome. Um, Okay, so Taylor, that's cool. Cool running. Hey, I uh, got seaweed notes on the Chateau Montalena. Uh, not me. I, I did not. But we'll see. Um, who knows what I'm going to get tonight. All right. So uh, let me talk a little bit while a couple more people come in and before I really get into this. Yeah, man. Uh, so you were given two Black and Cairns and bought eight more. Yeah, see, I bought four and then I bought four more. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to talk about the, the different versions here before I get into this. Give those, give those a minute to really get around so I don't know what's over there. So the regular green spot, I, I like this idea of taking the average rating from, um, I think it's not Drizzly, it's a distiller. Um, and distiller has, uh, the you know, the, a lot of people rate them there. So I like the idea of putting it there along with my local total wine price. I also added, they all are unmalted and malted barley, but they're all have kind of a different combination of how they were either aged or finished. So I thought that'd be cool to put up here. So in this case, Green Spot, it's a 4.1, sorry, I'm probably a little loud. It's a 4.16 and uh, it has been reviewed quite a few times, 2130, definitely a lot. So um, seems pretty, pretty much like it won't move from there. So just a little over four out of five, I should tell you. So next we've got the Blue Spot. Now this is still fairly new and there were only 16 um, reviews on here. Kind of makes me think I should maybe go do some reviews on dist uh, Distiller. But 4.39. Now, the blue spot is very good. And I will say that that's probably a pretty good rating. However, the price of 109 that's more than I paid for. I paid about $100. Um, and even that seems more for the novelty. Like, I, I don't imagine it's going to stay at 100 But who am I to, who am I to say? Um, kind of came out during this whole tax issue that we've had going on, so even its initial price might be higher than what they ever intended on it being. Next we've got the yellow spot, 12 year. Now this guy has a 4.3. Uh, I did not put these in any order of ratings or anything. So this has 1,063 votes or, or ratings. So pretty good, you know, pretty solid as far as what, we're, what we can come to, to know. And at 99.99 near me, um, I think that's pretty, pretty darn good. Now, actually, sorry, I'm gonna go back to the blue for one sec. So, so, sorry, ah, numbers. Okay, this is something I wanted to point out. So the green spot is X bourbon X Oloroso Sherry. The blue spot adds on X Madeira. And now the yellow spot adds on X Malaga wine, which I'm sure Eric will tell you all about. But <laughs> um, either way, I love the yellow spot. It's one that I'm like, even though I say I don't have anything invested in this, just for my own personal interest, I will be curious to know if I end up picking the yellow spot as my favorite. Now, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to do this completely blind. Like last last time that I, I did one of these um, with the Irish whiskeys where I did like all the budget Irish whiskeys, that was a little bit more interesting because I knew nothing about almost everything I was drinking. These I might actually recognize the taste. I certainly will probably recognize the blue spot, but who knows? So this is a 4.399999. Now the red spot, this is interesting to see it have such a high rating because um, I've talked to several people actually over the last week once I put this live stream up where we were talking about the different spot whiskeys. You know, people like to tell me which one's their favorite, which by the way, since you guys are here, which spot whiskey is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. So the red spot is my least favorite or was during my reviews anyway. Uh, so Mal Malaga is east of the Juarez region and is made from PX grapes. Okay, cool. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> I can always count on you to just know everything. Um, now this one's got a lot going on, but it's basically bourbon, sherry, and marsala wine casks. But anyway, 4.31 seems very high to me. 
Now the Green Spot Chateau Montalena, over the last you know month while I've been reviewing the Spot whiskeys, this was the one that I think is probably my favorite of the three. Uh, Blue Spot Chateau Montalena and Chateau Leoville Barton. Um, a lot of people seem to disagree. They think that the Barton is probably better, and, and so be it. We'll be interested in, again to see what comes out of tonight. But this is a 4.21, uh, 76 votes, and again, 100 bucks. And this is finished in ex Zinfandel. So I think it's really interesting knowing the history of spot whiskeys and how they had this history, and still do, of dealing with wine. Um, and actually, I don't know if they still make or, or distribute wine. Maybe they sell it. Um, I don't know. But they used to make confections, and they used to make wine. And so it's interesting to see how much they're exploring those wine finishes. All right. And then lastly, we've got the Green Spot Chateau Leoville Barton. And this is a 4.12, which, interesting, the distiller uh, rating says that, that the one I like better is a little better. So, you know, maybe I'm awesome. $115, which is not what I paid for it at all. I paid closer to $100. Um, and it's X bourbon X sherry, and X wine. So, interesting. All right, so I'm going to get into this, but just real quick for anybody who came in. Uh, tonight's giveaway is uh, four Black Glen Cairns, $5 Super Chat. Gets you into the third thing. So let's go ahead and select our first. I'm actually going to, now these are these are mixed up real well, and I know it's probably giving some background noise. So I'll just turn that off, and I'm going to pick my first one. So that means I'm going to get rid of my visuals here. So if anything happens that I need to be aware of, let me know in the, in the comments, because otherwise I'll have absolutely no clue. All right, here we go. I'm excited. I've been looking forward to doing this all month long, um, certainly over the last week, and especially after, after doing a few of these spot whiskeys this week. All right, so you guys will be able to see what you, oh, I should probably tell for anybody who's, who's coming in. I think the, the green, yellow, red, and blue will be obvious from the bottom, but then you've got kind of an orangey color, which represents the uh, Montalena, and then a pinkish color, which represents the Barton. So if anybody asks while, while we're going, just do me a favor, comment in the chat and fill them in. All right, so I don't know what this one is, but cheers to all of you. Actually, I guess I'll give it a little bit of a nose. Still cheers to you guys. <sighs> okay, interesting. Smells a little, a little bit, smells a little bit higher ABV, but also a little bit more bourbony. Um, initial guess off, just off the nose is it's either the red or the blue, but we'll see. All right, bottoms up. Cheers. Okay. Now, please remember not to say anything in the chat about what color you see or anything like that. I'm also kind of maybe not going to look at the chat all that much, just in case somebody decides to be a jerk. But that one, I'm, I'm pretty sure is the blue. And I, I had a feeling that, you know, if the blue was, assuming this is the blue, I had a feeling it would probably stand out. Now, I will say it's my first drink of the day, too. So, you know, sometimes a 46 can feel like a, a lot more. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what's Alex Chang asking? I know you probably answered this, but if you had to pick between green or yellow spot, which one would you pick? Yeah, so personally, I picked yellow. Um, all right, let's go ahead and grab another one. I have a feeling this might go a little fast. Okay, a much more, much more light nose on this one for sure. You know what I'll do? I'll uh, kind of... I think you guys might, I, I can't tell, but hopefully you can see. Just, it might be interesting for you to know while I'm nosing. I'll, I'll try to do that. If it's working, then, then great. Okay, so the nose on this is, is okay. Hey, Rob, thank you very much. All right, the, the nose on this is, is okay. It's, um... It's reminding me of berries. And maybe a little, almost like white grapes a little bit. Travis, thank you very much. Drinking a Waterford along with me. Well, cheers to you, Travis. Appreciate it. I'm enjoying the, the nose of this a little bit, but it's not, there's not a ton going on. Um, all right, perfect. Thank you. You can see the glass while I'm nosing it. Perfect. 
I'm 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 not really sure what to make of this one yet, based off just the nose. Hmm. I I think what I'm gonna do is now that I know these are all mixed up, I'm gonna nose each one and just kind of give my impression. I actually meant to do this. I at least I've got one sip of whiskey down the down the hatch, and I'm 99% sure this is blue. But let me let me nose each one, because I think that alone might be an interesting take, and why not? All right, so this one, again, it's, I can't say that's the most interesting nose I've ever had. It, it's hard to say, because I, I keep, wor I need to, I need, this is, this is for me. I need to relax, and I need to realize that I'm going to make mistakes, because it's a blind tasting. I'm saying that this nose is not that great, and I'm fully expecting it to be like the Barton <laughs> or the Montalena, something that clearly has a good nose. Um, and when I say not that great, I mean not that not that strong. So anyway, hey Mike. All right, let me uh, let me grab another one here. Okay, now this one has a very different nose. Um, I like this one. I like the the nose on this one. It smells buttery like buttered popcorn a little bit, which leads me to think it might be the yellow. Um, I just kind of always equated that in my head. when I, tr I tried this for the first time, I've told the story before, but I was at a New York bar uh, with a buddy and we had been, it was probably like the fifth bar we went to, and I really wanted to try the yellow. Uh, so I bought us both a, a drink and that's all the story that there needs to be. We had a drink at, the, at a bar and it was fun. But I remember comparing this to, to butter when I, when I first nosed it. All right, let's grab another one and give it another nose. All right, cool, just checking on my time. So that's whatever that is. Interesting. I feel like I need, you know how they say like if you smell your arm or something, it can kind of reset your, your nose. So I'm gonna do that a couple times anyway. You know what, I'll leave that guy up. All right, so the nose on this, I'm, I'm not so sure about. I'm mostly, mostly kind of unimpressed. Although it's starting to develop a little bit. I feel like the heavy breathing pervert here that calls you, <laughs> you get a phone call and just, <sighs> It could be worse. I could be uh, swishing it around in my mouth. Okay. All right. I'm I'm uh, I'm not sure what to make of that one, honestly. It's it's not bad, but it's not it's not blowing me away either. And I I'm I'm kind of waiting for the green spot to come around because I I just think I know what that smells like, and I'm I'm uh, waiting to see if I'm going to make a mistake here. All right. <clears throat> this one has a little bit more of an interesting smell to it. It smells very candy. Um, so that was you. I don't know. Anyway, it smells very sweet, very sweet, like um, like pixie sticks, like grape or, or no, like strawberry pixie sticks. Wow, that's that's incredible. As soon as I said that, I, I don't know who, I know a few of you guys are drinking. If you have this one available, pour yourself uh, uh, some of it and just give it a nice long inhale. I guarantee you, it smells like strawberries and like strawberry pixie sticks. It's crazy, like fun dip almost. That's really cool. It almost smells like, um, <laughs> this is going way beyond, but like, let's say you had some pixie sticks and you just poured them out and then there was that like cloud of sugary strawberry dust like that just inhaled into your nose like i i really like the smell of that one i i really hope it's not the red <laughs> you know what fudge it i i don't need to swear i i don't care if it's the red i've been bad mouthing the red for a few years if i'm wrong hell i've got a lot more whiskey that suddenly i like so i'm I'm fine with that if it's the red, but I, I don't think it is. I think it's one of the wine finished. My guess would probably be the Barton. 
um, but we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and get this out of the way here. That's all right, Eric. I hope you uh, feel better. All right. Another one that's kind of giving me that same type of nose, except this one's a little bit more orange, orange pixie. What the heck is with, I haven't had a pixie stick in years. It's not even on my mind. It's just there. <sighs> Drinking the green Barton and the yellow. Nice, Rob. Good choices. They're all good choices. Man, I'm excited to just start drinking these things. <laughs> There's a little bit of patience that's needed here. And, uh, all right, those look, those look pretty good. All right, so, again, I have no idea which order anything is in. Um, so, I'm just going to pick one at random. Again, I'm pretty sure that's the blue. Um, like, to the point where it's, it's almost like it shouldn't be involved with the, the rest of it because it's just going to throw everything off. But I'm going to focus on these five and make sure that I still feel that's the blue towards the end. And if I do, hard to shake those childhood memories with pixie sticks. Yeah, man. Oh, just dumping them on your tongue. Just, ah, you know, so good. All right. I'm going to pick the one right in the middle. So cheers. Okay. Cheers. Hmm. I'm not as crazy about this one. I, uh, I don't know. I'm not as crazy about that one. But we'll see if it grows on me after a little bit. <laughs> a lot of comments about brown spots here. Uh, so I, I know I asked earlier. I didn't, I don't think I saw many people answer, if, if anybody. Of the spots, do you have a favorite? And if you do, which one is it? All right, let's move along to, I'm going to, I'm actually going to have another sip of water. And I'm going to have this, this, this is the strawberry pixie dust. So let's go ahead and have a sip. Cheers. I thank Eric for a lot of things. <laughs> that one tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste... It... Hmm. <laughs> Brown spot or Johnny Walker red? <laughs> oh. I don't know. Boy, wouldn't it be funny if they put out a brown spot and just had no idea what they were doing? <laughs> Oh, Travis, you had to, huh? Since I haven't had the blue spot yet, green spot Chateau Leoville Barton is still my favorite. Yeah, I, I'm a, that's a, that's a good point. Well, we'll see, you know what, I won't even comment on that. We'll see where I end up at the end of the night. All right, so I like this one a lot, uh, just kind of letting it finish. I, I'm not, I'll probably make guesses, but that's not the point of tonight. In fact, I kind of don't want to make guesses. Because I would love to just hold these up at the end and just be like, oh, I like this one. I like this one. All right. So, so far, actually, you know what? I should probably do this. I'm going to push this one like way back towards me because that so far is my least favorite. Um, I'm going to leave this one like I like this one. That's what I'll do. I'll put it behind the line if I don't really love it. I'll put it in front of the line if I do. And then as I progress, we'll just kind of make stuff up as we go. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here. Almost wondering if this is, well, like I just said, I wasn't going to guess, but whatever. Uh, I uh, I think this might be the green spot, um, just because it feels a little bit more like a base, I guess. I don't know. It feels like the rest of these have this component in it, but I could be totally wrong. It's pretty good. All right. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to be drinking these. Hmm. 
Okay. That's def- I don't think that's the green spot anymore. It's too smooth. I'm starting to think that... I don't know. I don't know why I keep saying I'm not going to guess. I'm totally going to guess every single tip. <laughs> I'm guessing this might be the red. Um, or the Montalina. It's hard to say. It's very smooth. Like, very, like surprisingly smooth. <sighs> Let's see. Hmm. So, for those of you that aren't drinking spot whiskeys, what are you drinking with me tonight? Because uh, I don't know if you realize this, it's a rule that you have to drink unless you're at work. That is a rule of my live streams. Unfortunately, never bought a spot whiskey. My area only, uh, my area only has regular green spot. I did get to try just about all of them for free in Dublin Airport. Nice. Interested why you got to try them all for free. Were they doing a, like a promo or did you know somebody just hook you up? Did you maybe do some some favors for a, a you know Irish gentleman? Hi, <laughs> <Aye>, laddie. <laughs> I'll give you us <laughs> give you the green spot for your brown spot. <laughs> all right. Um, so let's go ahead and have this sip. All right, all right. Boy, I just don't know what to make of like half of these. I'm uh, I'm having fun trying to trying to place these where I think that they should go though. Um, somebody asked how many green spots there are. So there's technically three green spots. Two of them are wine finished, um, and then there's a yellow spot, a blue spot, and a red spot. And the blue spot is seven years old, cast strength. The yellow spot is twelve years old, just forty six percent. Red spot is fifteen years old. 46%. The green is no age statement technically, but it's usually like 10 years old. Um, 46%. Then you have the Chateau Montalena, which is uh, Zinfandel finished. And then you have the um, Chateau Leoville Barton, which is something else finished that I'm totally blanking on right now. What is it? 4-0. Duh. I knew that. Literally just filmed that last night, or two nights ago, I don't know. Alright, I'm going to have the last one here. This one was the orange pixie stick, so uh, let's go ahead. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. This is going to be a tough one to put these all. This one, uh, I'm already starting to lose some of the nuance to the flavors. I don't know how some of these other guys do, like, like massive blind tastings. I mean, maybe they're taking breaks and just cutting, but if you're doing it on a live stream, like, I don't, I genuinely don't know how you do a fair blind tasting, because even if you spit out the whiskey, like, after the first sip, what do you, like, how can you trust your own, your own taste buds? But, I don't know. All right, so, so far... I'm gonna have another quick sip just right down the line. I'm actually even gonna put these all right back, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just rock it, not rock it, rapid fire down the line, place them where I think that they go. Alright. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I could take a small sip, but that's not fun. <laughs> I really like the way this one smells. But I don't love the way it tastes. Hmm. So shout out to uh, Spencer, by the way, um, if he's in the chat. I don't know if he is, but if he watches this later, congrats on um, leaving your job and going on to something that makes you happier. So congrats. You guys all know Sp Spencer anyway. He's, he's a very common sight in all of our live streams. Sorry, not, uh, one more question. Which green spot is my favorite or most recommended? Um, I mean, I could give you my, my opinion, but it's kind of what I'm here to figure out, honestly. I, I more care about like which spot whiskey. <laughs> Richard, I, I, 
I just wish COVID was over. It would be so much fun to just host a tasting. Hell, like, I'd pro I'd have a bunch of you degenerates out to my, you know, we'd do a party in the backyard. Everybody come over, drink my whiskey. Hmm. I like the taste of that one. Well, the cast strength definitely has the most punch. That's the blue spot. That's a, um, is it 100? Or is it, it's probably more than 100. 58.7, sure is. Okay. I like that one, but not as much as the other three. And then probably the castering. It'd be funny if I was totally wrong and just assuming this was the castering. Dude, I would just, oh, like you think, well, I can't compete with La Quinta because that's a lot of people bringing a lot of whiskey. But I mean, I got like 200 bottles, probably pretty close and no reason to keep any of them. So other than the channel, which I guess that's a reason. <laughs> so um, still feel like this one's probably the, the cast strength and I like it. <laughs> so let's, let's go ahead. What's tan step, whatever. Um, Let's go ahead. I'm just immediately, this one right here, I'm just going to call it right now, that's my least favorite. Um, if it's the yellow, I'm going to be disappointed with myself. But tastes change. All right, so I'm down to five. This one right here, I think, is the cask strength. But I don't know where I'm going to put it as far as which one's my favorite. Um, yeah. Not an easy blind tasting bill. Yeah, you know, I'm realizing that these are not as dissimilar to each other as I would have thought. When you're doing these all side by side and I'm going back and forth and whatever, like it's it's harder than it looks. I'm never really very good at this kind of thing, which is why I put that caveat of like, all I care about is which one I like the most. And uh, it, I'm not being like, which one's the yellow? You know, like I could probably pick it out honestly, but Either way, like I, I like this idea and I think this is fun and I'll probably do this for more things. Um, kind of comes to mind that I'd like to do, you know what I actually really wanna do? I love the idea of what I did last week with the Irish whiskey. Um, I think that was a really fun episode. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, I think that was a really fun episode and I would like to do that with similarly priced bourbons, just everything under $25. And I think that would be an interesting interesting blind tasting. I might, I might do that. I, um, so let me, let me ask you guys this question while I'm kind of letting my palate rest for a moment. Although I'm not, you know, wagging my tongue, I'm not, uh, drinking. So I do Irish whiskey month every March and I enjoy it. And there's not a ton of Irish whiskey out there. So I feel like at, at some point I'm actually going to have had them all. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, but I'm trying to decide if it makes sense to do another full month of anything. And if so, what would it be? Now, what I'm thinking about doing is potentially like Indian whiskey month, because I it's another underappreciated uh, style of whiskey. I just find every every Indian whiskey that I've had has been fantastic. Now, I haven't bought junk, but I've also, you know, not really known a lot about the things that I'm buying either. So um, I lean towards Scotch and Irish, but I do have a fair bit of bourbon. Yeah, so I would... <laughs> do that with Canadian whiskey and bourbon. Ooh, that's that's an interest. Oh man, I almost feel like I should. With the amount that I've trashed Canadian whiskey, like boy, would I look like an asshole <laughs> if I was like, oh, this Pikes Pikes. Uh, no, what is it? Pikes Creek. This Pikes Creek it beat out friggin' Larceny Barrel Proof. <laughs> I don't know. The Black Velvet versus Proper Twelve versus Johnny Walker Red was hilarious. I'd want to see more vids like that, but that's torture. Yeah, that's a good point. I could do more like that, and I probably will. I have to be in the right mood for that. Hey, Bobby, or and or Sam. Hello, nice, welcome. Um, all right, so let me uh, let me take this moment real quick while I'm not looking at the bottom of these glasses. Um, I'm gonna throw this up one more time for now. Tonight's giveaway is four black Glencairns, just like this, a $5 uh, 
super chat gets you an entry. Um, also, anybody who joins the Patreon um, will work something out too. Uh, there's actually there there's something that is special that just got released about an hour ago to only patrons, and only patrons know about it. Um, so if that's a thing that you're interested in, might be a good time to join. Anyway, so if you guys are interested in the Black Glen Cairns, I'm gonna buy whoever wins the raffle tonight. Um, I don't know if raffle's the right term, that might have some legality to it. I'm going to pick somebody at random of anybody who donates $5 to the Super Chat to receive four Black Glen Cairns. That way, you can do your own blind tastings at home, and I think that you'll find that some of your misconceptions are probably misconcepted. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and, and start rating these again. <laughs> Black Velvet Salted Cow. You know, Travis, honestly, they don't have it here. I never do flavored whiskeys, but I could see putting together a live stream of, like, different flavored whiskeys. If you actually felt so inspired, I would love to receive it, because I don't have that around here. So... All right, so Archie finished off his tealing. Now, which tealing, Archie? And you're sipping on green, only have red left, but not a fan of red. Yeah, interested to see how this goes. I've only had yellow spot. All right, so let's go ahead and keep going. Now, I will say these two, whatever these two are, and for anybody who's new to the stream, um, the colors on the bottom obviously indicate which one it is. The, the red, yellow, blue, green are obvious. The orange one is the Montalena, and the pinkish one is the Barton. So, um, these two so far, I don't know if these are the wine finished ones, but I can tell you that these are the two best smelling ones by like a lot. So nice Taylor. Good to hear. Now I'm also going to be putting out some new glasses. Um, I'm getting them on the 23rd, I believe I have, um, they're, they're just whiskey, whiskey dictionary branded Glen Cairns. Uh, but I also have like another Glencairn that I'm putting out, as well as another rocks glass that I'm putting out. And um, those will those will be up in the store, call it like end of next week or so. Um, I just need to be able to take some video of them and put it up in the store and all that stuff. But the Patreon exclusive tonight, that, that was something I wanted to get up so that patrons can buy it before everybody else. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to drink this one because I think, actually, no, I'm going to drink this one. I think this is probably so far one of my favorites. Yeah, that's a pretty tasty one. I'm like so nervous that I'm just loving the red spot. I don't know why I care. I like both of those a lot. This one actually drinks a little bit hotter. I, I'm going to move this one ahead. Um, so I so far, I like this one better than this one, but I like them both a lot. All right, let's keep going. This one smells like butterscotch now. That's so weird. Like, I, I would be willing to bet... Well, I gotta be careful what I say on the live stream. I would be, I would be willing to make a gentleman's wager of a dollar <laughs> to myself that I think this is the yellow. Hmm. I take that back. On the nose, it smells like the yellow, but on the taste, I'm not so sure. We'll have to see. That's right. I don't think that's the yellow, because this is the one that each time I taste it, I, I say that I don't really like it. I, um, I don't know. It smells like butterscotch, though, and it smells like buttery popcorn, so that's, that's bizarre. I have all the versions, Alejandro, and if green, if... Uh, Spot Whiskey ever puts out any other colors, I will be buying them because I am a sucker for collecting anything that has kind of a very limited amount. It's uh, kind of awful. <laughs> has led to a lot of addiction. At least this one I go on the internet and drink on camera. Alright. I have to say, personally, I would love to watch a stream like this where I knew what the person was drinking and they did not. I think that would be really fun. Hey, Taylor, thank you. Appreciate that. <sighs> Taylor's one of my favorite people. 
not just for the super chat. He's just always active on the Patreon. He's he's just a nice guy. This one smells. I'm. I gotta say, Green Spot has some of the best smelling whiskeys. They all are very good smelling. Hmm. All right. I'm convinced that this one's the blue. Like, there's just no question. So, I'm trying to think of where I want to put this, though. So, the blue spot... Here, this is why it's a little tough. I wish I, wish I didn't include the blue spot in this thing, only because it's a different ABV. And so, not only is it kind of obvious, but it also is, is like a different experience. Um... I do have Irish Tua, Tua glass. Actually, I have two of them. I have Tua Tua glasses. Uh, I thought about giving one of those away tonight, too, but I want to give you guys something better uh, than, like, just, you know, a Tua glass, which is, well, like, 15 bucks or $12. Um, but who knows? Maybe I'll do something like that sometime, and we'll just do, like, what Dollar Super Chat gets you an entry or something like that. I um, I like doing the, the raffle things. I just think it's a fun way to give stuff away. That way it's cool for you, and it's cool for me. The, the cask strength... It, it's good. Like, I really like that I bought this, and I don't regret a dollar of it. But it's not, it's, it doesn't feel like spot whiskey. It feels like a higher ABV Irish whiskey, which there are not a ton of. So, I mean, there is a place for it. Cask strength does not exist a whole lot with Irish whiskeys. So, I mean, I guess that's something. But I'm actually, so, I'm not going to put it as far back as this guy. But I, I am going to say, so far, that's my that's my third least favorite. Having whatever this one is being my least favorite so far. And then this is second least favorite. Cast strength is good. This is kind of, like, I'm almost going to put that, like, middle. I don't want to say that's not a thing I, I've heard. Um, sorry, I was reading a word. That's not a thing that I dislike. I, I'm just going to put it right in the center. So now that leaves me with these three. So I've got this one this one and this one. I'm actually even going to switch these around just so I have no idea what they are. All right. So let's because reaching is for suckers. <laughs> All right. So I've eliminated three of these from, from the, the finals here, if you want to call it that. <clears throat> from Brandon. Bill, I love bourbon, however. Bourbon does not like me so much. I have found that my body processes scotch and Irish whiskey without any issues. Can you shed some light on this conundrum? So, Brandon, I would say there's two things. I'm going to address... If you just have kind of like a rough morning the next morning, let's say in the bathroom, that that is a thing. But let's let's go for the more palatable version of maybe you just get hammered and uh, or or ha hung over off of bourbon more so. Bourbon does tend to be higher ABV across the board almost than most scotches and most um, I uh, maybe not Irish whiskeys. Here's what I think: you might have some sort of a sensitivity to tannins or heavier oaked whiskeys. Because if you think of the the main difference between bourbon and scotch and Irish is the influence from a, a brand new, you know, white oak barrel, specifically a charred one. That could be part of it. If you were to tell me which kinds of Scot scotch whiskeys you find that you have less of a problem with, I bet I could elaborate a little bit more. But, I mean, who knows? Like, bodies are weird, right? Like, you could be sensitive to char from an oak barrel. Who the hell knows? Um... Hey, I just got a member. That's great. Love it. Still crazy. That's great. You are my first member on my channel. Congratulations. All right. So, um, I think I said uh, thank you to Memica. But either way, thank you. Um, all right. All three of these smell so freaking good. Like, it would be boring for you guys, but it would be wonderful for me to just sit here and just smell them for... Like way too long, um, but I got to pick a winner. So let's let's go ahead. I've eliminated it down to three naturally. I did not plan this out very well, but this is kind of coming along. So let's go ahead and we'll just nose each one of these and then we'll sip them. 
So less less interesting nose. Hey, she flung tongue. Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, Steve, if you're still there, uh, add still crazy to, um, wow, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, still. Um, we'll, we'll consider a, a membership because that's five dollars, uh, an entry into the drawing as well. All right, so this one's pretty good too. They all just smell so good. Oh, Travis, excellent. I'm glad that you did. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I have wanted to do that thing on Patreon for so long. Hey, thanks. You guys, you guys are making me happy. Thank you so much. <sighs> okay. Also, if you have processing issues, always drink more water too. Yeah, for sure. Um, quick shout out to Emily. Emily sent me the coolest freaking pen. Uh, it is... Honestly, it's it, so it's a fountain pen, right? And she sent some some whiskey brown ink, I think is what it's called, or scotch brown, something like that. Um, and it, she also sent along these, uh, what are they, black currant? 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 I, I forget how to say it. Some mints, right, that have a very specific flavor that I had, um, apparently I had said that I didn't know what it tasted like, although maybe it was somebody else, but either way, I'm reaping the benefits. Uh, so thank you, Emily, I appreciate it. All right, so let's get back to business. I'm chatting too much, need to drink more. All right, so. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. Actually, a little, little layered. I'm starting to think that this might be the Barton. If it's pink, that means it's the Barton. All right, so let's see. <laughs> I completely agree with you, still crazy. Smell-O-Vision has... Every, like, everything about smell vision makes sense for a whiskey channel. All right, whatever this is. I forgot. This one's, this one's actually a little hot. Is there any chance that this is actually the blue? Hmm. I don't know. Hey, Steve, could you give me a quick heads up if you're still around? I totally asked you to, to help me out, like, long after I started. <laughs> so, I have no idea if you're actually there or not. If you're not, like, I totally have a way to, to deal with all this. Might just be a little boring for those who, who didn't enter to win. Hmm. Taylor. Hey, Travis! <laughs> you're a patron and, and a uh, whiskey lover. Love it. Apparently I called you a whiskey lover. That's interesting. I forgot what I named the, the tiers. I like it. All right, so this one right here, this one right here is probably my least favorite of these three. Um, but it might match this one here too as being a, a least favorite. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, all right. <sighs> this is tough. This is hard work, hard work. Um, oh, did I, I might not have it up. All right, let me, uh, okay, yeah, no, it, it's still up. All right, so the, the giveaway tonight is four black Glencairns, just like this, shipped right to your door, um, via Amazon. So. Stop making googly eyes at my whiskey tubes. Well, that, <laughs> that thumbnail, <laughs> let me, so I took, like, I took like 40 pictures. I, I'm, I want to try something totally different with my thumbnails. I mean, YouTube, everything about YouTube tells you that you should have your face on the thumbnail. And I just never did because it's not like I don't love this beautiful face here. Um, <laughs> but when I think about it, the it's the bottle. It's the whiskey that should be getting the attention, not me. Um, but either way, I figure I'll do what whiskey's, I mean, what YouTube is telling me to do and actually put my face on the thumbnails. So... I took a whole bunch of pictures. Most of them were just like, you know, me kind of doing the, the generic YouTube, like, yeah! Like, like, <gasps> you know, all the stupid things that you see like uh, freaking 20 year olds doing uh, with their Fortnite channels and all that shit. But, you know, it works, so may as well try it. And I took that one just because. And 
I, I posted it in Discord last night, and everybody was just like, that's hilarious. So I was like, you know what? Freaking, why not? I'm the whiskey dick. I should be a little bit more edgy than just like, I am the whiskey historian talking about the, the, uh, all the things about whiskey, which I do find value in. I like doing that. Um, but even, even still, I need to be a little bit more interesting and, uh, either way. Thank you guys. So, all right. I got to freaking pick something. Cause you guys are, you, you're distracting me with all of your generosity. <sighs> okay. I think this, I think this might be my favorite smelling whiskey that I've had in a long time. Whatever this one is, it smells so good. It's, excuse me. Well, now it smells like burp. <laughs> I think this is, I think this is the one that smelled like orange pixie sticks versus strawberry pixie sticks. But it's hard to say. Yes, this is the strawberry pixie stick one. <laughs> I know, my tongue was so long in that video too. Uh, in that picture too. Um, all right. I like doing live streams on Fridays. I just have a good attitude. Even with the, like, I mean, obviously you're drinking whiskey, you're getting a little loosened up, you're having fun anyway. But freaking Friday nights, man, like... What better time to drink? I also, I, I realize I just keep ran, uh, going on and on here, but I've got a lot to talk about. So earlier tonight, um, there's a there's a uh, brewery near me called Treehouse, very popular in the Massachusetts area, pretty much New England area, and they make really good beers. And I was sitting on the couch and I was drinking one of these beers at like seven o'clock, um, right after dinner. And I asked my wife, I was like, hey, can you grab me a beer while you're grabbing yourself one? So she brings back a beer and I start drinking it. And within like 10 minutes or so, or maybe not even, I'm just sitting there and I'm just like, I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. And then I was like, wait a minute. What is the ABV on this beer? <laughs> 8.1. So that explained a lot. Um, but there's been a lot of times where the first sip of my entire night has been on stream and that isn't as good because it, it's just, usually it's too harsh. So I wanted to have a beer, um, but it ended up being a 8.1. So I was already like kind of feeling it by the time I got down here and uh, then I drank a whole bunch of, bunch of whiskey. <sighs> All right. Okay. Okay. Taste of this one, it's a little bit more muted, a um, little bit less interesting than some of the others. This one, this one, I'm, I'm almost wondering if this is actually the blue, but I, I can't imagine that this is higher ABV than, than, I don't know where I put it. I don't know. I don't know if that one's the blue or not. But I will say, I don't think I like that one as much. All right, what time is it? Perfect. Okay, I think I have my final, my final values here. And I am very excited to see how I did. Let's do this. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up my, my visuals again here just so I can kind of see. All right, so 60 people in the chat. <clears throat> um, I kind of will just kind of put this out there one more time as I'm doing this. If anybody is wants to enter the, the drawing, I'm going to do the drawing probably as soon as I finish going through all six of these. So go ahead and get your super chats in or um, memberships or whatever you want. All right, so the, the, my last picked whiskey, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm legitimately nervous here. So the, the one that I thought was the worst of all of these fully putting this out there that I actually like all of these was, oh no, really, really, the Montalena. I can't believe that. Okay, great. Hey, that's really, yeah, I guess so. All right, Montalena is not my jam. Cool. <laughs> I can't believe that. All right, let's, Really? 
fully, fully just blows my mind. All right. <laughs> I love that you guys knew that the whole time and that you kept that to yourselves. Good job. I'm so, so happy that you guys didn't spoil anything in the chat. Um, yes. All, uh, correct, Emily. Least best. All right. So second least best was, of course, <laughs> of course, I knew it. <laughs> the Barton. Boy, my palette is just absolute garbage, apparently. Let me tell you, at the end of this, if my favorite was the red, I'm just going to walk off the stream. <laughs> Still crazy, thank you. All right. Third least, third from the bottom was the blue. And that, that was expected. I think I pretty much put it there. It was just, it's, it's high ABV. It tastes like high ABV. And it tastes pretty good. But it's, it's just not nuanced. It doesn't have layering. It doesn't have whatever else. I can't believe I picked those wine finishes as last. I can't get past this. <sighs> okay. I really hope the winner wasn't the red. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. All right. So the red was third. Okay. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in myself, but I'm okay with those results. Now, I'm down to the last two here. And I have said for a very long time that I, I love the yellow the most, that I thought the yellow was my favorite. But I have also said that I've been incredibly impressed by the value that is the green spot. So either one of these being first place or second place, I'm actually very happy with these results. I'm a little bizarre about these two, but whatever. All right. Second place was... The green. Okay, cool. And first place was the yellow. I am very happy with the way that ended up. Whew. Okay, that was fun. Cool. Ah, oh. some nights after a live stream like this, where I have a bunch of these, you know, I... Wait a minute. Well, Bill, you chose well. I would put yellow above green as well. Okay, here's the deal. A lot of times when I do these streams, I forget that at the end of a blend, or sorry, at the end of a, a blind tasting, a blend is a thing that should happen. So, let's see what blind, uh, what the spot whiskeys have to offer. This might actually be too much whiskey for one glass, but let's see. Pour, 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 pour. Ah, nice. It's up to about here. <laughs> I hope you didn't disappoint Irish Whiskey Yoda with this order of lineup. I'm sure I did. I, I lost so much cred today putting those. <laughs> You're not wrong, Swami. <clears throat> I am so happy that red wasn't somehow ma magically the, the winner. I would have I would have discredited myself quite a bit. <sighs> All right, so let me let me mix this around a little bit, get a little finger in there. <laughs> All right, and have a little taste. Cheers. <sighs> How dang many people were live tonight. Sorry for being late. No, no problem at all, Top Shelf. That's, that's really good. <laughs> I'm not... A few times where I have done that, it has never been good. This is actually the first time where I think the blend of all six of these is would make a, a legitimately good intro, um, entry or, or uh, expression in the lineup. That's really good. I'm going to keep that, and I'm going to drink it after the stream. All right, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I should say. Um, I am about to go figure out... Yeah, no, I, I don't I don't know, Taylor. I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know why red was so high, and... and I can't believe I picked the finished whiskeys as the last ones. That's That blows my mind. I loved them when I did my reviews. I very much dislike the red. Now, I will say, the red has been open for about a year and a half. I don't know if that matters. I have no idea. But it's a thing. Um, I guess maybe it opened up. It is bourbon finished. Uh, and that's kind of their highlight. Bourbon opens up pretty well. Um... <laughs> Swami Bill's drinking out of black glasses because half of them are Hawaiian punch alright so I am officially going to close the giveaway 
Um, let me go. This is going to take me a second because uh, I totally was unprepared to do this. Do, 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 do. All right. Let me first see if uh, if Steve was even around. I asked him to help me out, but I totally didn't tell him ahead of time, so... Sawyer fam, Jason B. Oh, yeah, this is from last week. Okay, so um, I need to... Hold on. I have a way to do this, but like I said, it's going to take take me a minute. So um, let me let me just do this, only because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to make all of you hang around long uh, for no reason, although... All of you are, are, no, it, Steve is, I didn't even ask Steve. I should have asked Steve. Anyway, so here's the deal. I, uh, as I mentioned, I have a few things coming out this, this weekend slash upcoming week. So keep an eye on the channel. There'll be a couple of new pieces of merchandise going out. Um, just, you know, watch for it. Next week, I'm going to try really, really hard to do two, two review videos, but I'm not going to do a live stream. Um, I have a software production release on Friday, and I need to be there for that. So I'm going to try to release the Three Swallow uh, from Powers, as well as the Konamara 12, uh, and see how that goes. If I can do both, awesome. If I can't do both, I will try really, really hard to get it out for the weekend, but we'll see. All right, let me go ahead and uh, go back through the um, viewer activity. Okay, cool. All right, so this is going to take me a second, and you guys are going to hear me type like crazy. So we'll do Rob, Travis, one, Taylor, Mamuka, uh, still, she, still, still, Richard. Or actually, no, I should do. It's going to take me a sec. Oh, and you guys are seeing the things flying across the, the screen. All right, Richard. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, then we have Travis did a second one where he became a member and a third one. So Travis has three. Jim Morris, you know what? Actually, there's no reason I can't share my screen and at least make this somewhat easy, uh, interesting for you guys. Uh, let's do this. Okay, cool. So Richard is there, Travis, so Jim. Still crazy, did another one. You're a maniac still, love it. And then in Travis, I got you. All right, so looks like one, four, five, six, seven, 11, 12, 13, 14 entries. Cool. Could you also post on the community tab? Just curious. Um, yes, I definitely will, Taylor. I absolutely will, um, for sure. All right, so this giveaway, so I need to do Oh no, I broke things. Ah, I'm the worst. Let me copy this. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Let's do this. All right. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Yes, this is this is exactly what I'm gonna do. Only because I'm I'm so unprepared for this, I totally I totally dropped the ball on this. We're gonna do this, Travis, Travis, Travis. Nope. Delete. You guys will love this actually. One Taylor, Mamuka, still, 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 still. I type stupid fast, so this shouldn't be so bad. Richard and Jim. All right. Cool. All right, so this is, like, it should be 14. Cool. <clears throat> Here we go. Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 14. Your random number between 1 and 14 is 4. 4. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4. Travis, winner. <laughs> winner. Travis, excellent. I know how to get in touch with you, so I certainly will. And I will be sending you some Black Glen Karens in a, uh, you know, like, probably right after the stream. Um, awesome. Couldn't go to a nicer person. Although, well, I guess all of you are very nice people. Thank you very much. Uh, let's let's just call that call that a, a, a ad hoc selection. Could have been anybody. 
So thank you all very much for joining me here on this Whiskey Dictionary episode of uh, Green Spot Insanity, Fun Time, Good Stuff. All right. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to leave. All right. Ending the stream. And click.